and just allowing the etheric body to float around. lot of stuff going on here. In United States, everybody is doing astral journeys, it's just hallucination, okay? You lie down and just imagine that you're flying here, flying there, that's not it. Unfortunately, everything becomes ridiculous when all kinds of people start handling it. What is being referred to as astral is, there are five kinds of bodies, physical body, mental body, energy body, etheric body and bliss body. These are five dimensions of the body. We are referring to everything as body in yoga so that you can understand it as a physical entity. Though the last two are not physical, still we are referring to it as a body because yoga is a method, not a philosophy. It is not a philosophy, it is a method. So we are seeing how to employ a certain method to make use of certain things. What is being referred to as astral body is leaving the physical body, mental body, energy body and the bliss body intact and just allowing the etheric body to float around. That means you can conduct your activity here because your physical body, mental body, energy body is intact. But just allowing the etheric body to go. That's a certain kind of mastery. You can't just psych yourself into it. It needs enormous sadhana for a person to do that. Compared to etheric body, pranic body is physical. It's more physical kind of presence. It's energy, but it's a physical energy. Etheric is a transitory energy. It is neither physical nor beyond. It is a transition. This body is totally beyond the physical. So, Getting the pranic body out and putting it back is easy and it's a much stronger experience because a physical part of you goes out and gets back. Etheric body needs much more sadhana because that is not even in your experience, it is not something that you can touch unless you are in a certain level of sadhana and intensity within yourself. But uh, every street corner they are doing astral travel these days. That's just a hallucination.